Virgo, welcome to my channel, Rainbow Wizard. I will be doing a reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Uh, this is for the middle of November. It is the 11th of the 11th to be exact. Thank you so much for being here, Virgo. And uh, thank you for all your love, for your support. Welcome to all of you new viewers. I really appreciate you all so much. I re really appreciate your comments and I'm um, sending you so much love back. I am posting the 12 signs, so um, uh, yeah trying to stick to schedule and um, I hope that you will find uh, the perspective and the answers you are looking for Virgo. I'm using the Babylonian Tarot deck and uh, amongst others. So let's dive straight into your reading Virgo. If it resonates with you, please do like, subscribe, share the video and leave a comment. an extra shuffle here. Some of you could be contemplating a new job. Mm -hmm. You might be studying, part-time studying, that's what I'm picking up. Now, your arms are crossed, Virgo. You are not in the frame of uh, mind for love. You are very much, um, it's that, okay, I have to put everything aside uh, something to do with your economy, something to, um, you're calculating how you can afford everything that you want to afford. Um, and you also, it's, you want to make some investments here. Um, Virgo, for some of you, it is something that could be costly. So you are calculating, do I have enough? Um, can I go ahead with my plans? Um, so for some of you, you could be uh, dealing with an earth sign. Um, they have water in their chart. We also have air. Um, Taurus is coming up, Libra specifically. So um, Aries, Virgo, Sagittarius as well. I'm going to look into your person first here, Virgo. They are... Mm, this is someone that have regrets. They have regrets that they did not pursue you, say what they wanted to say. This person can be very um, romantic or flirtatious more like it. But because they are running around with their romantic gestures, they can also come across as a bit of a player or you feel that they are like that with everyone. Or maybe they are like that with everyone. I see that... Um, now, in their intentions here, they really want to come back to you with a wheel of fortune. Um, they know that they haven't really expressed their emotions for a very long time. This is someone that wants to take control and, and charge towards you, Virgo. This person here, they could also have recently become a father or they are a father figure here. They could be Aries in their chart. Um, I am picking up that... I just see that they're sad um, they're sad for lost time, lost um, precious time as well. They haven't invested their efforts where they should. Um, they really want to express love to you, but they're waiting for the wheel to turn. They're waiting for an opportunity to um, come forward. But maybe they are not getting this opportunity. I definitely pick up Virgo that you have um, a few, like there is there is a few entities around you. There could be two people around you, Virgo. Some of you might be born on the cusp of Libra. So you are um, social butterflies, perhaps. There is someone here that definitely want to send you a rose. They wanna, they are hopeless, romantic. Um, they wanna get out of um, this, uh, you know, this this obstacles that is. Uh, causing this connection, but um, Virgo, in your surroundings, so I think we're, this, this one here, I forgot about this one. Okay. Now, Virgo, I'm picking up that some of you might have been in a relationship that recently ended. It's that I cannot bear this connection anymore. I cannot bear this. It's something that you you are saying like no this is this has to be it 
in your so that can also be what you expect um in a connection because in your environment i see there is an awakening it's a sudden uplifting connection that is coming towards you i mean it can also be virgo that you have given completely up and you have just felt that oh, causing an effect is happening um i lost out um this is not going after the plan um i felt that i followed the spiritual path but it's just all a struggle hmm See, there is a soulmate union that is suddenly turning up. This person could be younger than you, Virgo. Maybe I see that I see a relationship around you, Virgo. You have been in a relationship very highly likely this with a Taurus. This um, could have been a marriage. This could have been at least speaking about about a marriage, and it's one of the relationships you've been in that you thought was going to last forever. But there is some pain within this uh, connection and uh, you realize it doesn't have much love anymore. And it is hard work and um, it looks like you, you, you just in your feelings, you, you are just ready to, to wrap this chapter up. Um, you're saying that no, yeah, it's justice is here to protect you um, and you have... I just see that uh, the spirits is blessing you with just a burden-free life. You could have carried burden for two people. You've taken a lot of uh, stick, uh, basically. Um, someone could have been very, if you're dealing with an air sign, maybe air and Taurus, uh, maybe Libra, Taurus combination. We also have Libra, Leo just seemed that there's two relationships going on here one is one is passing um so a person that is coming towards you virgo they could be they could live away someone that you given up on this could be a twin flame someone that is missing you someone that is dreaming about connecting with you and this is good news that is coming up suddenly it's it's happening after a difficult chapter is coming to an end. If it's not you, Virgo, there could be someone that you know of. There is an ending in a marriage. I'm really, yeah, I really feel that a marriage is ending with a Leo or Libra or Sagittarius. This is someone that was juggling. This person that is coming towards you as well, then maybe they have ended a relationship um, with a water sign. And I don't know why I today started this side. I usually do this side, so there must have been a reason for that. <laughs> um, Virgo, so let's look at the person. You aren't expecting that someone is making changes because they want to be with you, Virgo. You are not expecting that. There is something difficult, burden that you are carrying. Some of you could have a child or someone around you, it's something to do with the pregnancy. You could have given someone support through a court case. You are definitely carrying burdens for other people as well. And you have experienced uh, a defeat uh, when it comes to a uh, connection as well. Again, this is a Libra or Taurus. So who is this person turning up in Virgo's reading? What is happening in, in their surroundings? See, they are looking for you. They are sad that they haven't connected with you. This person see you as their future, their happy life, happy wife, they are, see, there is a justice here, something that was unfair. So you might be dealing with someone that king of swords, queen of swords, so this is a couple. Um, 
right and there was a lot of conflict within this couple that person they have feelings for you you might not even know about this um even virgo or maybe you do maybe that is the burden but see they are this could be an immature relationship um maybe it's but they they have feelings for you virgo could be a gemini as well you're dealing with maybe a gemini here and a libra something about the regret and remorse here and resentment traditional thinking about a relationship so i have an aries here as well they feel like they're your divine counterpart perhaps they're younger than you this could happen very soon here um right this is someone that you know you are their wish fulfillment virgo there is regrets here wow there's something painful here between the two of you it's a lot of pain this is um spilled feelings right this is someone that it feels like oh this 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 connection is doomed yeah i feel that there's a third party here that has doomed this connection that it just never were able to get off the ground and virgo you are sort of okay i'm going to be happy here on my own just like it was just never going to work is that type of energy but i see here that um an air sign they want to to invest in you uh they're also in a difficult uh, could be an aquarius i see that there is a lot of stress around this person as well um there could be an ending of a relationship there could be sort of their job or something could be very toxic as well like they're always working there's some kind of stress around them but they do miss you virgo and um, they really do miss you and um, you are their wish fulfillment i see that see they can be two separate things this is someone that's very important for them to have the legacy as well they could be a father figure again they could have recently become a father but i also see here that you and them are divine counterparts but you've been separated of that very difficult obstacle. So it's like you have your own life separate from each other. But the, even if you're separated and you haven't been able to express feelings and it just seems completely like hopeless to ever connect um, in this lifetime, um, something that you don't know uh, that this person, they have feelings for you. They hope that one day that you and them can connect here um they're trying to look for you they're a little bit scared of looking for you as well i think that they're scared of being that they're blocked or they're scared that they're going to see you with the a new person as well so i i see a libra here something to do with the libra with taurus in their chart and there could also be water or fire um you are there is hurt um here in regards to an air sign um virgo but happiness is suddenly picking up here you you are receiving um news this could also be a new person moving towards you um this could be someone is coming in with a solid offer this could be maybe a taurus or an earth sign um could be a capricorn as well wow so many messages so many messages right you might be dealing with someone that there was acting like a player this could be to a taurus with with sagittarius they were acting like a player and you just didn't in the end you just gave up on this person here but i see that um someone uh, an air sign was holding on to your person i believe here and they were just staying there for perhaps finances or perhaps they have a child something like that but in the midst of this, I would say that you will reconnect with someone from your past. Um, this could, you are reconnecting with them in um, the month of, well, season of Sagittarius. This person again is Aries coming towards you, Virgo. So an Aries, perhaps with Taurus in their chart, is coming towards you. That's in the Sagittarius season. See someone here. If you have, uh, if you might, might, uh, might have Libra in your chart, this is someone that wants to commit to you. 
They are very obsessed about getting an opportunity with you as well. They are watching, they are looking for you. Um, this uh, might be a twin flame union. Um, you've had a breather from each other here. This person is dealing with someone that is quite toxic. Uh, this could be a toxic um, work or toxic third party. Uh, this could just be there's a lot of strain on, on this person. They might also, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, they're... You know, instead of um, kind of moving forward and, and choosing a path to go towards you, they decided to stay put and they regret it. They really regret it. It turned really toxic, this path, and um, um, it didn't really have a happy ending. They might have left there with a child as well. So there is victory here, Virgo. But um, yeah, I see that you could be dealing with a, uh, Aries or an air sign. Now... I see that um, I see the wheel is turning. Someone could have rushed them. Like I see her, someone wanted a child, and then it, it's almost like someone rushed into say, "Oh, I need to have a child now. I need to have a house now. Okay, let's get this done." But they sort of ignore their feelings, right? And now they are staying in this. Now they are kind of stuck there, but their destiny isn't over yet. Their destiny is saying that, well. I was meant to be with Virgo. I, I miss Virgo and I want to go back to them here. So in their feelings and, and expectations here, they want something to end. They feel there's been a lot of pain, a lot of pain and loss. And you might have left this person as well. See here, you want to overcome your heartache, but you're saying here, no, I'm leaving this person. They can leave, they can keep their shit. I'm <laughs> hearing they can keep their shit. I don't want that. You know, this is just gone too far, right? And this is someone that is very ups you know, like a bit toxic as well. Um, and, and it's something about very, oh, like when they want something, they can be, there's a lot of, you know, they, they're very selfish in the way they behave then as well. This could be a lot of lo love bombing with someone that you were dealing with that is Capricorn. But I feel here there's another person that is showing up in your environment here. This is a where two people are bringing your cups together, right? It's quite sweet love. You could have, this is one chapter with someone, Virgo. This is someone that you were in a relationship with. Uh, someone that you made you very happy. Someone you wanted to commit to. Someone you thought this was going to last forever, but it's falling through here. Things is just too difficult. And you are looking at another path and it's making you feel very happy. Now, someone here, an air sign, right? They are coming here with an invite and, and, and they want to, to see you. They could also be telling you that, oh, I've gone through, you know, a, a separation from a, an air sign, right? We can start together. But I see that you might be the one rejecting someone, Virgo, because you're moving forward with someone else here. And this person that you're moving forward with, it, that could be a surprise even to yourself because you thought that you would always end up with um, this person but then there is a there's a nice surprise here um, for you Virgo um, there is a new beginning anything else for Virgo for the most likely outcome in love Yeah, the two of cups. There's love here. Mm. It's really strong and solid love as well. And it's taken you by surprise. You have been used to someone that is, um, there's always fights or just some games going on. Uh, someone is always thinking about their, you know, winning, uh, winning and, and, and gaining winning and gaining. This is someone that you've been dealing with. And any more messages here for the two of cups for Virgo? Me... Yeah, you. this is someone that is treating you uh, like they put you on a pedestal. Um, again, it could be an Aries. They have money. They are ready to, to start a brand new chapter. Uh, they are leaving someone very toxic here. Um, this is um, an unex it's a really unexpected um, change for you, Virgo. Really unexpected. 
it's this could be with an Aquarius as well. There's a lot of wealth there when you two get together or in Aries. There's something that it's like you're keeping to yourself uh, almost. Um, there's something really difficult that you have experienced in love and you sacrifice so much and you do not really look too excited. Uh, like you, I, I'm, I'm seeing that for a while, Virgo, you are like, gosh, it's going to be just work, work, work for me. I need to work extra hour to get, you know, things to um, turn, like, it's something about I need two jobs now to maybe you, you are a mother or father here, right? And I need two jobs now uh, since I'm leaving someone or since I don't have this person in my life. But, you know, maybe I need to move away. What are my opportunities here? But you're going through an awakening here, um, Virgo. And it looks like a person that you were dealing with, someone have kind of uh, triggered this um like they were very narrow-minded or tight or stingy with their money. So their stinginess, kind of this thinking, this language they use and always being so obsessed about money. Actually, they, they don't really gain more money. They just talk about it and they could be quite mean and very um, stingy again. And you, if you have been around someone like that, even if you are not thinking this way, like this... It's almost like a bit contagious and distancing yourself from that type of a person, right? You are actually here due a, a legacy, Virgo. There's a huge legacy. It is because you choose happiness and yeah, you're ending a chapter in your life that is not abundant, right? There is someone here, Virgo, that you have spent a lot of time with just making bare minimum, not being happy, juggling someone that also could be i see someone here that could have been cheating right you have to always defend yourself this is uh, someone that is pretty nasty piece of work there could be a father of your children for example or similar to your father figure something like that virgo but there is someone here your intentions is to leave that in the past there is someone here that really um there's a lot of arguments. Everything is tiptoeing around this person, right? Uh, it's, again, very stingy, but also they expect you to share, but they don't share anything back. This person here is very cold. Could be a Taurus. And you are just so fed up with this person. It doesn't have to be a person in love. It can be a family member or a boss. There's someone around you that you just can't feel like you can't breathe with this person. They're really stingy and they, you, they take advantage of other people, right? This is someone that... Um, you know, save electricity and save like everything and they'd have a lot of money as well. This is someone that is like cold and serious. They think instead of feeling. They are like a cutthroat here. A lot of discipline and high standards. They're very strict, analytical and logical. And there is someone like that that you will distance yourself from. And as you're distancing yourself from this person, Virgo, it's as if the universe is rewarding you here with a new beginning. You are just sort of seeing things different, that you can live a different life. You are healing from someone like that here. But this is this, this regime is going to fall apart. You have something else in store for you, Virgo. This is, again, this soulmate. They could have Aquarius in their chart. Um, can have, um, I see also um, someone with water in their chart as well. And, and, and Aries. It's a very nice uh, union here. For many of you, Virgo, that this is a huge uh, transition and you're coming out of a situation where you thought your life was going to be a certain way for eternity because you are stuck to someone here with the devil. So again, this is someone like can be a boss and you don't want to leave the job, father of a children, mother of a children, family member, but there will be a, a, a change here. You're protected, someone... You are going to have victory over someone here, um, Virgo, and leave someone behind. Just needing a little bit more time here. Healing your heart as a sudden change, right? Have faith. Love is coming. There is a love call. Yeah. So I really see that for many of you Virgos, um, a better life is ahead for you, especially for those of you that have experienced uh, hardship in your love life or been with someone that is... Um, yeah, very cold. 
cold and calculated. So, yeah, wearing a mask here. You know that you deserve love. You are prioritizing yourself. There's someone that you are re revealing your inner most selves to each other as well. Um, but here also, maybe some of you have had a connection with someone that is something to do with the trait of your father and at some point in their life here and you're healing that, right? Someone from your past is returning to your life. Divine timing is at play. It's safe for you to love letting go of control issues. This is a completely different uh, connection that you're moving forward with Virgo. And uh, again, you, you will have the last laugh here. You are moving in. It could seem, it could seem that you are moving away from abundance and uh, someone uh, almost like you feel that you are depending on someone, but I see that you're cutting this cord, that you are showing that I, I am not depending on anyone and you are the one that's going to receive a lot of happiness because you're cutting someone out of your life, a Virgo. Ace of Cups, I mean, Son of Cups, there is someone here that uh, they, they, uh, they're in love with you. It's very sweet love. We have two of wands, right? It's excitement. Here it is releasing the burdens as well, right? Um, again, someone is expressing their love. This is, could be fire and uh, earth coming together. Um, there is someone here that is been giving burdens. So that could be a Libra woman or so. Now there is healing going on. Uh, there is wisdom gained here, right? It's, um, yeah, it's a new chapter. It is a new chapter. Um, so someone is, someone is being let go. You are healing Virgo and, and it's exciting new start. Some of you could also be getting together with Aquarius. Ace of Cups again. It's a, it's a connection getting off the ground with the Empress. This is a twin flame connection. While it is the 11th, 11th today as well. See, this is someone that you know from the past, the Wheel of Fortune, the Ten of uh, Pentacles. I mean, this is real love. This is love that comes with abundance as well, but it requires to walk away from a chapter that has a lot of arguments, uh, a lot of havoc here. There's a lot of manipulation. Someone is very difficult to deal with. This is someone that uh, is like, they want attention on them all the time. And um, like they, it's almost like someone here is managing to trick someone to look another way while they're packing their stuff and they're running out the door pretty much because someone here is like, give me more, more, more. Someone is, this could be someone that is pregnant that is just like going, like hormones are not uh, doing them a favor as well. Like they are really demanding and they just are under, they're out of control. I mean, um, and I just see your person here is like packing their bags, running out the door. Um, yeah, it's like this, uh, this reunion happening under the radar. It's a lot of happiness. They are reaching out to you telepathically. Um, Virgo, um, this person might have Pisces in their chart. Um, Pisces, um, again, I'm picking up Pisces, Gemini as well. See, there's just so much love, love that never died here between two people. And this person here can't wait to show love. I mean, this is like, a, it, it, it reminds me of a, like this happy ending, a rom-com movie, right? But it's been taken so long, so long. But here there is someone here taking a leap of faith. They're running for a new opportunity. But I see here as well, someone that seeming like a player, they are coming in with a solid offer to you they want to collaborate with you here right uh they do love you they want to invest in in you here um virgo uh, there is no doubt i see this again uh there is something blow go blowing up <laughs> it's blowing up right um this this could be as well a chapter is over with a with a scorpio i'm picking up uh, could be with another Virgo. There is a chapter or Libra woman, uh, some Cancer as well. There's, there's just something that's been like a block. It's been a block. 
in regards to two people meant to be together because one person is obsessed about being in power, making more money, using people and being uh, like a tyrant, basically. And um, that, um, that reign is over for them. The reign is over for for this this chapter here, right? It's almost like this darkness around this union. Two people that was not able to come together can now come, now come together. A child is meant to be born in this union as well. That could be a miracle. Okay, Virgo. So a few more messages. Make sure you check uh, the other uh, signs in your chart, maybe your moon, Venus, rising sign. Any other messages for Virgo? Yeah, the three of wands, they, are, they can't wait to, to get to you here. Um, could be a Sagittarius, uh, Sagittarius, uh, Scorpio, um, Leo, Capricorn. Um, but I feel that... Let's see what else we're getting here. When when is the uh, Virgo going to meet there? There's a lot of twin flame, like it's like U-turns within a twin flame separation. It's like, no, I don't have any feelings for my counterpart and suddenly is back on <laughs> big time. So yeah, what was... The, the rain is over. Someone's rain is over. Either as a, a Scorpio or um, maybe a Sagittarius or Leo is over. See someone also that... Um, see here, someone... Could be an Aquarius that maybe had a reputation for being a player that is not a player. There has been a, a long break uh, between you and someone. The truth is coming in from an Aquarius, potentially. Uh, this is someone that is willing to, to do the work, right? There is an invitation, um, wanting to get together. They are fine with things not moving super fast here. Um, they are very obsessed with you as well. Uh, I do see two people getting together here, um, celebrating And someone is furious uh, that this connection is coming together as well. Someone is trying to send you a message. Yeah, they do. This is someone that do worship the, the ground you walk on here. Um, I, I do see behind the scenes there is a divorce. There is a long term, like someone's been in a relationship that they were unhappy in and therefore also involved other parties, right? That's why it became so messy. They, yeah, they're, they're someone here that has been doing that for a very long time. But um, that's now coming to an end with a death card here. It's, a, it's an end of a chapter. There is a relief. Um, yeah. Year of the goat could be significant. Year of the snake could be significant. Year of the rat could be significant. Year of the dragon could be significant. Year of the ox. So uh, Virgo, uh, these were the messages I had for you. Please like, subscribe, share the video, and uh, you can also leave a comment.